this Saturday and Sunday, Figment Boston, a free, sprawling, participatory arts festival, will be held once again on the Rose Kennedy Greenway. Now in its sixth year, Figment Boston has brought hundreds of artists and thousands of participants together in a two-day event that breaks down the wall between spectator and artist. Joining me now are Figment Boston's communication director, Claire Davies Frischman, and a local artist who will showcase a project at this year's event, Asim Suri. It's good to have you both on the show. Good to see you, you again. Thank you so much, nice Chris. To meet nice you. to meet you. All right. So let's pretend that some there's some foolish person out there who's never been to uh, Figment Boston. Okay. What, what would you say to them? It's a non-stress stroll, right? Absolutely. It's a free, family-friendly, um, open arts event that uh, takes place across the Greenway on Saturday and Sunday. And the whole um, spirit behind the event is that it, everything is meant to be participated with. So it's not static art pieces that you walk up to, you look at, and you walk away from. You engage with that piece of art or that artist. Uh, so the whole thing takes on a life of its own. All right. Now, before I ask you about your project, Asim, I want to ask you, having, I assume you've been to Figment events before there, what is it like, what, what attracts you to going to something that's participatory? I think uh, both as uh, an artist and as a participant in such events, um, it just, it takes, to me at least, it takes art out of the big galleries and brings them to the people, sort of. So, in a good analogy I can draw is with slam poetry, where like they took poetry out of like you know the university and universities halls. and brought yeah. them to like bars where people would get drunk and like you know drunk people would judge the poetry. So <laughs> it just it brings these these art forms, I think, and I don't really believe they diminish them in that way by bringing them to a different audience or a different environment. So to me, that was the more fascinating aspect that. Otherwise, until you studied like art history, there's something missing in your appreciation, you know, in like of art, and in this way, it just becomes so much more involved. I feel. You know, I've taken <clears throat> my nieces and little nieces and nephews there. I don't think they see it as art. It's just more like a series of fun things to do. I don't know if the idea of art that you know it, you can help build this you know, bottles, or you go in and, and, and you have these things on your face, and do you know what I mean? Is It, it, it really does, as the same was saying, take it out of the, not clinical, but, you know, the, the educated, so. refined, you got to know something about. This is just stuff to experience. If you want to go past it, you go past it. If you want to write something, you do it, right? That's right. I mean, the whole spirit there, and uh, as you said, your nieces as children, they instinctively respond in an environment like that because they're There's still no tuned problem. to play. Yeah. So the whole idea is that as adults, maybe we're not as tuned to play, and Figment invites that. We invite people to come and play and have that experience where we're not looking at things like, this is a piece of art, but rather, this is something I can play with. I can put that paint on my face, or I can walk through a, a project or write something on a wall and have that experience too. So. All right, so if you can dumb it down for us, Asim, <laughs> tell us what your project is that you do. This is you're you're a performer yourself, but this is a this is an art installation. Yeah, right? it's an interactive multimedia exhibit. Uh, it's called Operand, and Operand is any object on which a mathematical operation is performed. So already I'm scared, but all right, <laughs> <go on. laughs> uh, in in keeping with I mean what we just were talking about, uh, I feel like with interactive art, it opens up the opportunity for people to interact with the art first in a playful manner. And then maybe when they've had the experience and they're leaving and they're curious about it, they can think about where the artist was thinking about or what the concepts behind it was. So I think the two don't necessarily stand independent. So in my case, although I was thinking in a conceptual manner, one of the things that was very, very, uh, you know, that I wanted was that people are able to interact not just with my artwork, but also with each other in the system. So the way Operand works is that when somebody enters the space, uh, I have systems set up that track their movements and based on their locations in the space, it triggers sounds and visuals in respect to how close they are to triggers I have set up, similar to how Pokemon Go, yeah. I guess, would be where uh, <laughs> so you have <laughs> <laughs> augmented reality. So those 
objects. That's what we those. want, <laughs> augmented reality. You don't have little <laughs> creatures floating around. No, no. Uh, on, on, <laughs> the, on the screen you will see uh, little boxes that light up as you go close to them. I mean, they're on, you see them on the screen, but they are close to you on the floor and they move around as you move close to them and they trigger sounds which follow you around the room. So that's the fun part of it where you can interact with it. And I've had people in the last exhibit when I had it up spend like an hour in there or half an hour just like playing around you with it. You gotta drag them out some more <laughs> before they go in. But do you, well, let me, let me just say, can you give us just like a brief preview of the kind of things there? Now this sounds fascinating. People could spend all day there in a seams thing. Yes. But you have, over the years, you've had so many different fun places. You yes. Know. We, it's, 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 you can only say that you experienced them. It's hard to describe what they are, right? It, it can be with some projects. And the whole idea is that the, the, everything is new that happens. Everything happens in an organic manner. So a few of the projects that we have coming this year, there's one called the Genie Lamp. Oh, well, that sounds Which fun. is exactly what you think it is. <laughs> <laughs> you get to make wishes? Or? Yeah, well, you can kind of do anything with the genie oh, lamp. Oh, wow. Um, but it's the same sort of thing. Um, we have a community weaving project, which invites everybody to participate in a large loom. Um, uh, the Real Time Art Show will be there, and they capture moments throughout the event uh, over the course of the weekend, and then they immediately print the pictures and exhibit them. So you may see a picture that was taken... Just somebody... Looking right at behind art. you. Right. It's so, oh, yeah. so it really gives you a different perspective of what art is. Yes. Oh, can I be art? Even yes. though I, or will, will I be art in a mm. few minutes? <laughs> right. Or even are you thinking about this as being art or are you just playing and having an expansive experience, which is really the goal? All right. So it's interesting that there's things that uh, most all these exhibits kids can interact with them mm -hmm. but yet they might fascinate adults as well i am sure do you hang around your exhibit in case people say oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, how by the you know little kids probably won't ask you but adults say how did you make that work right yeah yeah i mean i get those questions and and uh, it's it's not i don't really obviously go into the technicalities with them but it's just the uh, i'm using a microsoft connect for example uh, which uh, and uh, you know, I would write a program for it, which is doing this. And so that's how I'm doing it, I guess, if that's... Yeah. Uh, um, no, no, but people, they obviously say, hey, this is cool. I wonder whether I can do something similar at my house, you know, at my oh, party. You know, they want to rip your idea off, basically. <laughs> right, right. That's what we're talking about. I guess, I guess that's a little bit more... More tough to do. I, I to no, do no, no. Well. But I'm just saying, it stimulates people's imagination. Oh, for sure. this, is what, this is what I mean. Is even if they are think, not that they can be as brilliant as you and rip you off, but just the idea that they could transfer this to another space or or try something at a birthday party or something. Right. You know. Right. No, because God I, knows we need imagination, and that's what your lovely logo has with the mm -hmm. with the little mm -hmm. balloon there, the thought balloon. You know mm -hmm. there. So um, this is free, correct? It's free, yes, and it's going on all weekend. Yeah. Now, what about music? Uh, I mm -hmm. know sometimes I've heard music. Are there stations where there's live music? Or there are, is. is this, or, yeah. There is performance happening. So we have several dance troops that come. Um, there are a few returning from last year, um, and then we have a separate stage that where there will be live uh, uh, DJs uh, in the evening time on Saturday for sort of an after dark, uh, dark party. Yes, yeah, so I've been reading about the After Dark Party. Yeah. It's in that downtown area. They've been you've had yes. them for several years now, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. Now, so how do people find out about this? So they can visit us on any of our social media channels. We're on Facebook, uh, Instagram, and Twitter at Figment Boston, uh, and also we have information up on our webpage, which is boston.figmentproject.org. Now, do you? A lot of times when there's arts events, we say, oh, why don't you look at the schedule and plan your thing there? But don't you think it's better just to Alice in Wonderland, this type of thing there? Definitely. It's just stroll through and you're not prepared. I mean, yes. you'll survive. <laughs> Let's put it that way, right? Yeah. Yes, no. There <laughs> we is, guarantee you will survive this. I think that the, that's a very good point. You should come there open to experience whatever comes in front of you. We definitely have maps available that show the layout of the whole sort of shebang. Um, but but you should just be prepared to wander and and get engaged as you see something that or just your pass interest. by you know or just yep. it's even great seeing other people interacting with the art and you know you might be afraid to go in there yourself or think <laughs> oh I don't want to if there's little kids writing things there I don't want to be standing there doing that but it 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 just makes you stimulate your thought about your reactions to art 
you know, in the, so it's non-threatening all the way through. Is That's that correct? Right. Is that what you? Yeah, yeah, I would agree with that definitely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so what's the web? Uh, do you think they should just use Facebook, Figment Boston, or do you have a website? Uh, any any of the above? I mean, any of those above? Um, uh, really, all three of our social media channels and our website will be updated with all the event information. Facebook, there is an event on Facebook that people can check out with more details, and they can say that they're coming. We'd love to see that. Right. I mean, do you like likes? And, and of I'm course. Coming. Who doesn't like, like likes? likes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you so much. Congratulations thank you. on thank your you install. So much. Thank you. Thank you. That's it for this edition of Neighborhood Network News. Chris Lovett and the rest of the gang will be back here on Monday night. We hope you'll join us then.